You see, we're in last days, you know, these are very evil times and the church has gone astray. You know, many shepherds have led the people astray and they're living for themselves, living to please their flesh. We don't have time for that. You see the signs, the signs of the times, things that are going on, you know, it is time to live according to the spirit, not according to the flesh. To live to please God and not to please ourselves, not to no longer live for our own desires. You know, the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, for as many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Are you being led by the spirit? Because if you're being led by your flesh, this proves that you're not a child of God. Only those that are led by the Spirit of God, by God's Spirit, by the Holy Spirit. These are the, ch the children of God. It is time to live to please Jesus, to please our Lord and our Savior, our Redeemer, and to no longer live towards this, this wicked world, this lawless world. We have to be a light in this dark place. In the book of Acts, Peter said to flee from this untoward generation, that is this corrupt generation. Flee the, the broad path. The ways of destruction. Do not go near the, the wide gate. But step away from that broad path and step onto the narrow path. Enter into that straight gate that leads to life. Jesus Christ himself is that gateway to life. He is that door. He is the life, the resurrection, the truth, and the way. It's time to step away from all the, the drama, the sin, the lawlessness, the iniquity that's going on. Time to step away from the, from the TV if necessary. If that's a hindrance between you, you and God in your life, then yeah, step away from the television. Get rid of it if you have to, you know. Spend some time in prayer. Learn to hear his voice, you know. Pray to him. Seek him with all thy heart, you know. The Bible says, if you seek me, you will find me. If you seek me with all thy heart. Are you seeking him with all your heart? Or are you going with the ways of the world, with man-made traditions, you know, man-made holidays, you know, that has nothing to do with God himself, nothing. But those who want to worship the Lord must worship him in spirit and in truth, not in falsehood, but in spirit and in truth. Seek him, you know, get on your knees and pray, cry out to him, pray fast if necessary, you know. Be led by his spirit, you know, be a witness, be a light to him. Reach out to others if necessary. It's time for the true believers to gather, you know, for they are the church, you know, to edify each other, you know. There's too many things going around in this world, too much wickedness, you know. The Lord's return is imminent. He's coming soon. Nobody knows that time or the hour, but his arrival is, is coming. You know, and there are signs that are happening, you know. And in due time, the son of perdition is going to be revealed. But take heart, be of good courage, you know, those that are walking his ways. Because he shall deliver you from, from all trials and tribulation. Even though you might suffer them, he will deliver thee, you know. And one of the, the churches in Revelation, I don't remember which one it was, but he spoke to a certain church and he said, because... Thou hast kept my word to the end. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation that shall come upon the whole world. Now, are you a part of that church? Are you his church? You know? Strengthen what remains. Return to the old ways and forsake the ways of lawlessness. Forsake that path and seek the Lord. And he will sanctify thee. He will purify thee, making thee spotless, without blemish, blameless in this crooked world. Seek the Lord with all thy heart while there is still time. Repent, for the time is near and the Lord's coming is imminent. May the Lord bless thee.